Hi, I'm Ray from the Radio Workshop. Interesting uh, topic cropped up recently. Well, I say recently, looking at some YouTube videos. This has been going on for some time. Uh, when is a vintage valve radio scrap or not scrap? Okay, when is scrap not scrap? Uh, what I'm getting at here, a lot of people over the last few years have been stripping out the insides of a vintage radio. You know, take this Bush DAC 10, rip out the valves, all the bits and pieces inside, perhaps leave the chassis there, and then fit a Bluetooth um, board and a you know, transistor amp, solid state amp and all the gear, and basically turn it into well, what you can only really call a Bluetooth speaker. Now, that, that's that. that. That aside, um, when is a radio scrap? Take a look at this, this chassis. This is a Cossa. I don't know how clear this is going to be on the camera, but these here, these are falling apart. You see these here, these, the, the things, the pins. Um, there's one, one there that's come off. That's missing, that's missing. Uh, it's the rust. You can see, look at the rust here. Dreadful rust. Uh, the tuning gang rust on the back there chassis covered the drum there for the drive cord rust on the sorry corrosion on the smoothing capacitor there transformer it was on the 215 volt tap so that wouldn't have done anything any good this is this is full of damp it's such a shame you know it's uh, just been left in a shed or something Probably not too clear, but the rust is in here. Everything's just been covered in rust and corrosion and damp. It is such a shame. This, uh, there's an example there, red rust on there. And there's another view of the chassis. Um, even the valves, the, uh, how clear this will be. Can you see all this green here, this green corrosion? The damp has just got into it's just got everywhere the damp and just completely ruined the radio. I haven't looked at the speaker. I would imagine that that's ruined as well. OK, some people would say that's scrap. Others would say, well, hang on, you can get a mains transformer. Oh, I omitted to add that the IF transformers have also had it. Um, they, they have been, I don't know who's done it, but someone's tried to adjust them and with a screwdriver and they've just wrecked the inside, the windings. OK, so it wants a mains transformer. Uh, the chassis is rusty, um, the IF transformers have had it. OK, um, where, where do you stop? You could say, well, get IF transformers from another chassis. Well, hang on a minute, what other chassis? You, you're going to scrap a radio, are you, for parts? Well, hang on, that's, that's what we're trying to avoid, surely. So a mains transformer, all right, you, you could fit a different type. Uh, so you're not destroying a vintage radio chassis by robbing it of its good mains transformer. You could build one, perhaps one chassis out of two. You know, whichever way you do it. If you use another mains transformer, then the radio is not original. You've got something bolted on the top, which looks out of place. If you build one chassis out of two scrappers, then you could say, well, hang on, you've scrapped a chassis. Uh, you could take all the components off and have the chassis sandblasted, clean it all up, put it all back together again. You know, this, is, this is what's cropped up over the years. When is a, a, a scrap radio actually scrap? Or is it never scrap? Um, this has come up because I've been looking recently at a few YouTube videos and the derogatory comment, the comments, you know, someone's Bluetooth the radio or whatever they've done and the comments oh I feel sick to my stomach this is sacrilege this is an appalling video some of the comments there, there are worse than that but some of the comments are dreadful and you sort of left thinking oh dear I, I don't even mention Bluetooth you know, and vintage radios you know I, I might get shot <laughs> so just an interesting point here's another a very quick clip of another chassis look at the rust and corrosion now I said to the chap, as soon as he, as soon as I, he carried it in, I looked at it and said, "No, sorry, I can't do that." And he said, "Oh, why not?" I said, "Because of the rust and corrosion." And he said, uh, "Oh, ignore that. Just ignore it." That's a very old video clip from some years ago, and it was a customer's radio, and he wanted that radio brought back to life, no matter what. And uh, I did. I said to him, "Right, I, I can't remember now." 
But I said, well, to strip down the chassis, the mains transformer had had it, I do remember that. As you could see, the rust was just dreadful. I think just the cost of stripping down the chassis, having it sandblasted and the rest of it, it, it you know, you start off 100 pounds, hey, I'll up to 200, 300, hey, on, this is gonna take like a week. It, it just got silly in the end. Um, he, he didn't say to me, well, scrap it. I mean, to be honest, there was nothing I could have robbed apart from the valves, there was nothing on that chassis. He took it away, um, I don't know what he did with it. Uh, oh, I think he mentioned something about using it as an extension speaker, not Bluetooth, just as an extension speaker. Um, but again, this just I just showed you that to, to you know, make the point, when is a, a radio scrap or is it never scrap? It is difficult. And as I say, some of the YouTube comments where people have you know, got a vintage radio and ripped out the insides and modified everything, added Bluetooth, you know, some of the comments are dreadful. I think the video was taken off in the end, but there was this YouTube video. A chap had, um, he built this uh, Bluetooth thing into an empty cabinet. So say you've got this, there was no chassis. In it. I think it was a wooden one, wooden radio cabinet, and there was no chassis in it and there were no innards. So he put his own speaker in and the cloth and, and whatever, and his Bluetooth stuff and his power supply and the rest of it. And he got, he got a load of stick you've wrecked a, a radio and he had said on the video you know this was an empty cabinet he actually found it in a skip you know in a rubbish dump um and he'd rescued it uh, i can't find the video now i reckon it's been taken off because the comments he got and people say oh this is dreadful you've ruined a good radio uh, i don't know it's uh, it's some of the comments are quite funny but on the other hand it, you know some of the comments are quite <laughs> quite rude. I'll probably get a few rude comments on this video. I'm not saying anything. I'm not sitting on the fence with this. I'm, I'm not, just not giving my opinion because I want to see what other people think. Uh, yeah, that, that's the idea of doing this video. What do you think? That's that's what it's all about. I can see both sides of the argument, you know, very clearly. I mean, obviously everyone can. You can see both points of view. Um, I had a, a just, just reminded me, I haven't got any photos, unfortunately. I had a, cab, a radio posted to me. The cabinet was like flat pack. The chap hadn't told me. I took the chassis out. Okay, there's the chassis. That was rusted, red rust and corrosion. And I'm thinking, well, this isn't a good start. You know, what's this other bit in here? I opened it all up. And the cabinet, there was the sides, the top, the bottom, the front, all as a flat pack, uh, riddled with woodworm. The damp had it rotted and the cabinet had just collapsed. <laughs> and anyway, I rang the chap and I said, hang on, I, want, I can't do this cabinet. He said, oh, glue it together. I said, you've got, there's nothing to glue. You know, you just sort of touch it and it's flaking to bits. And I said, the chassis is rusted. And he said, well, what, are, you, are you saying it's scrap? I don't know. Was that scrap? I don't know. Anyway, just a quick video, F food for thought. I, I don't know. I can see both sides of the argument. If, there's, if there is an argument, well, there is on YouTube. <laughs> I really don't know. So I just welcome your comments. Yeah, comment on the video. When is a radio scrap and, and eligible for perhaps Bluetoothing or DABing or whatever, guitar amplifying? <laughs> when is it scrap? Or is a radio never scrap? Should you not even rob uh, a rusty chassis for parts? Yeah, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.